understanding, pass the stuffing, an English phrase explained. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we make English learning easy and fun. Today, we're diving into a phrase that you might hear around a dinner table, especially during festive occasions, pass the stuffing. This phrase is not just about food, it's a window into culture and language nuances. So, let's get started and unravel its meaning together. Pass the stuffing is a phrase often heard during meals, particularly in the United States and Canada during Thanksgiving. Stuffing is a mixture of bread, herbs, and other ingredients used to fill the cavity of a turkey or other poultry before cooking. When someone says, pass the stuffing, they are simply asking for the stuffing dish to be handed over to them. It's a polite request at the dinner table, reflecting table manners and the communal nature of meal sharing. Beyond its literal meaning, pass the stuffing holds cultural significance, especially in North America. It's closely associated with Thanksgiving, a holiday celebrated with a feast where stuffing is a traditional dish. This phrase evokes images of family gatherings, festive meals, and gratitude. It's a small part of the larger cultural practices and traditions surrounding these celebrations. In English, phrases like, pass the stuffing, are used in specific contexts, in this case, during a meal. It's important to use it appropriately. For example, you can say, could you please pass the stuffing? Or, I would love some more stuffing. Could you pass it to me? These variations show politeness and are commonly used in friendly and family gatherings. There are other similar phrases for different dishes, such as, pass the salt, pass the bread, or, pass the gravy. All these phrases follow the same pattern and are used to request that a particular item at the table be handed to the speaker. Understanding this structure helps in learning other similar phrases used in dining contexts. That's all for today's lesson on the phrase, pass the stuffing. We hope this video not only taught you the meaning of this phrase but also gave you a glimpse into the cultural aspects of English-speaking countries. Remember, learning a language is also about understanding the culture behind it. Thanks for watching, and we hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more English learning content. Happy learning and see you in our next video.